everybody. I wanted to talk to you about coffee on the Mediterranean diet because I can see what people are searching for when they come to my website, DonnaDeRosa.com, and these are the phrases I'm seeing. Starbucks on the Mediterranean diet. Mediterranean diet and Starbucks lattes. Starbucks drinks on the Mediterranean diet. What can I add to my coffee on the Mediterranean diet? So I figured I better do a post about this because people in the Mediterranean drink coffee all the time. So really like anything on the Mediterranean diet is all about the choices that you make. So let me give you some statistics about coffee. So I looked this, these figures up on the Starbucks website. So a Grande Pike Place brewed coffee has five calories. Yay! Five calories! And so does a shot of espresso, which is probably what people in Italy would most likely get. If you add a sugar packet to that, you're adding another 15 to 20 calories depending on the sugar. A regular sugar packet will be 15 calories, sugar in the raw will be 20. So a grande cafe latte with non-fat milk, which is usually my drink of choice, has 130 calories. With 2% milk, it has 190 calories. With full fat milk, it has 230 calories. With almond milk, it has 100 calories, and with coconut milk, it has 130 calories. So I think any of those could be a good choice. It just depends on what size you get. And if you choose an alternative milk, like the almond milk or the coconut milk, or if you get a lower fat milk, you're saving yourself a lot of calories. On their new menu, they have an almond milk honey flat white which I've tried, it's pretty good. Um, for a tall, it's 120 calories and it's 170 calories for a grande. So you're starting to add some of the sweet things back in so the calories are starting to climb. Now the Christmas menu, of course I tried the Christmas menu, right, who doesn't? <laughs> so a grande peppermint mocha with 2% milk has 440 calories, that's 2% milk. So imagine what that would be like with full fat milk. And the grande salted caramel mocha with 2% milk has 470 calories. So with full fat milk, that's over 500 calories in one cup of coffee. So in moderation, coffee can be very beneficial. It's full of antioxidants, it's good for you. But like I always say about the Mediterranean diet, it's a lifestyle of moderate indulgences. So you can have anything you want, just have a sensible version of it or have something small. So I hope this clears up the, the myth of coffee and the Mediterranean diet because people seem to be freaking out that they can't have their Starbucks. You don't have to deny yourself anything on the Mediterranean diet. Just be careful that you're not adding all those sugary syrups and the different kinds of milk really make a difference. So I hope this helps and I will see you next time as I enjoy my non-fat latte. <laughs> Bye.